I just woke up to a pretty sky. And in a little while, the sun will rise. Pretty nice, eh? So I'm taking this down to the bulletin board. I'm going to do photography and videography tips, tricks, and for newbies. And uh, hang around my bus and have people come and visit and show them how to use their camera and stuff like that. So I'll put this up on the bulletin board and we'll see what happens. Well, I walked to the bulletin board, put my uh, free photography classes up there. I don't know who will, you know, take up take me up on it, but uh, so it, I have no. When I people have come by and I've helped them with it, they've uh, come back again the next day for some more help. So for some people, for newbies, I know I can help them a lot, save them uh, an awful lot of, um, you know, uh, I don't know how to put it. They say you should take ten thousand photos before you're a good photographer. I might be able to make that eight thousand instead. Yesterday I made a video about uh, welcome to the RTR and it was uh, about uh, going over into the RTR area and running into sort of a bunch of rules or a few rules, three rules that I um, uh, wasn't aware of. There's no signage to talk about and uh, some poor person had to come over and, fig you know, somebody had to come over and ask me not to sit on the, on the desert. So, or sit in that spot on the desert. Uh, later on, I, was, I went and got a button, and that person was telling me I couldn't put Gus in the bus on my button. Then all the comments came, uh, not all, but many of the comments assumed that I was dealing with rude people. I never at any moment said that I dealt with rude people. They were each and all of those volunteers are doing their best. They're trying to enforce rules sometimes that are just maybe a, a little bit like they're not clear to people. So people will break the rule all day. For example, when I went and sat on the ground, there could have been a, you know, do not enter piece, a strip of plastic like they use all over the other, all over the areas they want people in. In other words, where they want people to be in, they put a piece of plastic there so that they would get those people to go through an entrance door or something. But uh, areas where people are supposed to stay out of, there's no, none of this signage. There's no, uh, what do you call it, um, you know, yellow ribbon. So the poor guy who's trying to keep people out of a spot that's not marked is probably busy all day. And he was actually very nice. We kind of laughed about it in a sense. I, it wasn't rude. It was the rule that was weird. And his job of trying to keep people out of an area that's not marked is impossible. Like, do you understand? I hope you understand that. Then the woman who was doing the buttons was given a rule and either is interpreting it literally or interpreting it in a strange way. Or the rule's very strange. But she was not rude. She's just following the rules. And the rule's rude, I guess is the best way to put it. Hey there. So uh, I, I, I wanted to make sure that everybody understands that those, the people at the RTR are nice people trying to do the best they can. They, they, like everybody else, might make a mistake, but they didn't really make a mistake with me. My, my video was about the rules. It was about how stupid is this rule that an old man can't sit down and rest. Do you understand what I mean? Going to get kicked up and moved along. It's not a rude person or a rude volunteer. It's a volunteer getting me out of the way because if I sit there, another thousand people are going to sit there, right? And they, they can't have that for some reason. Maybe it's an emergency entrance or exit. I don't know. They, might, they could have a very good, valid, valid reason. It's just that it's not marked. That's really the problem that people will have. So they'll be able to organize it a lot better next year, especially after they get the kind of reviews that I might give. But please understand, the people at the RTR are nice people. Every single one of them I met is very nice. And those who are trying to do some, a certain kind of job sometimes find that job hard or difficult. So 
you know, the, all these comments that say, oh, I'm running into rude people, or that Bob's like a communist, or Bob's this, or Bob's that. These people are just imagining something. Nothing that I said. They're just imagining that I said something. So please understand that. Anyway, I went down and I put my sign up, like I said, and we'll see what happens today. Maybe I'll interview some of the people. Maybe uh, I won't, but uh, whatever. I'm going to hang out near my bus and see if anybody wants to know how to use their camera. <laughs>